Hey everybody, if you're like me, you're trying to figure out how to connect a Behringer X-Touch Universal Control Service and a Behringer X-Touch Extender to Ableton Live. Works great with Logic Pro and other DAWs, but Ableton Live, there's really no documentation anywhere I can find on the internet or on YouTube that tells you how to connect them correctly so you get all your channel strips going across. If you don't connect it correctly, this one is going to mirror this one. If you're having that problem, I'll show you how to fix it. So, we're going to go into Ableton Live settings. And over here in the link MIDI section, you're going to see our main X-Touch is going to be Mackie Control and X-Touch Int and X-Touch Int. Easy. So in order to get the extender to work, you want to choose Mackie Control XT. And then down here, you're going to use the X-Touch EXT, which stands for Extender. When you do that, everything's going to work perfectly. I'll be able to get all of my controls to work. I'm going to come down here and slide this, and you'll watch here, and you'll see that this changes right here. And if I come down to this one, and I choose Channel 7, let's say, there's our controls on Channel 7. So that's the way you configure it. Really simple. I hope this helps you. Please let me know.